What's up guys, the Wu-Tang Chicken here. Uh, we've got the Halo Minecraft mashup here. They released this a couple days ago and I thought it was super cool so I wanted to show it off to everybody. They released a whole big ass world filled with all sorts of awesome Easter eggs. We're looking at the Scarab and the Goliath right now. Excuse me, the Mammoth. Um, so many cool things in here, so many awesome multiplayer maps and seeing as how it's a big part of the Wonder Pets and that we used to play it all the time um all the halo games really i just really wanted to give this a, a nice serious look at um it comes with all sorts of different armor obviously different skins and texture packs for everything uh we've got uh i think six different multiplayer maps and two levels from the original halo uh they'll be coming up soon we can take a look at them uh in the meantime look at all the detail there we've got the map here shows you exactly where everything is in the world there so you can fly around get to them easy all sorts of skins mr chief there rampant cortana looks hot got everybody in there all sorts of everybody different armors different spartan armors you can put on there's also some elite armors and uh one brute armor uh the the bows and needler the swords and energy sword it's pretty it's pretty awesome there's uh there's a lot of love they put into this uh, recreation here. There's the Kilty Spark flying around. All right, first level, we've got Halo from Halo Combat Evolved. Take a look at this. We start off in the uh, the crash drop pod there. Uh, I don't know how many people actually played this on uh, the original Xbox back in 2001, but when it came out, but it was revolutionary. It was life-changing. Um, I... I think there's a lot of people who are going to look at these maps and recognize them immediately. I mean, some people know the maps in Halo games and most multiplayer games, but Halo in specific, better than they know some of their own hometowns. So, I mean, just take a look at all the detail that went into that. They couldn't have anything shooting out of there, unfortunately, but oh well, it still looks pretty damn good. There's the Needler firing off of it. See a... Uh, uh, Yep, there it is, off in the distance, the dropship. And here we go, we got a nice a nice little overview of uh, the entire area here. It looks pretty awesome, I mean, there's so much detail that they put into this, and every block is more or less lovingly recreated to be exactly where it's supposed to be in the game. Look at that, that's awesome. There's the little way down into the underground area from that level. All right, now we have the Silent Cartographer, another awesome level. They created the entire island in the top left of this Minecraft map. It's actually pretty legit. Uh, there's the arch where you start at at the end of the beach run when you uh, finally get your Warthog here. Mm, here we go, climbing up into the middle of the middle of the island here. You fight some hunters here. Luckily, there's no hunters right now because I'd be screwed with just this little needler here. Uh... Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, where we just looked, there was a uh, uh, terminal there to check out. And here we go, we're heading down to the lock for the map room. Um, they, This is the only part of the uh, level that they created the inside of, and it's actually, they did a really good job. You'll see once we get down here, uh, let's pop around the corner there. This is where we fought a bunch of hunters and cloaked elites in the game, and there's the, there's the key the uh, the button that you press that you have to go around the entire map to get to in order to get to the map room down there and uh, here we go we're coming up towards the actual map room itself through the uh, through the little tunnel there and then you pop through here and it just looks really good they did a really good job on this there's a little chest there they had the little uh, uh, music discs and everything in there and Minecraft's kind of a tradition there here we go, we've got a sweeping view over the beach, and there's a nice little warthog recreated. There's that area with the crash... Um, God, the fact that I can't remember the name of that is horrifying to me right now, but that's where you get the rockets. There's that uh, Promethean dick, I don't know. Pretty awesome so far. Um, there's the entrance to the map room. I mean, they just did such a good job on all these levels here. You'll see even more when we get to the multiplayer maps. It'll drive you crazy. God, just the detail they put into every little block. Oh, and you can totally, you can take this skin and um, build anything in it. So if you want to build other Halo maps, multiplayer maps, you can do that as well. Have fun, do whatever. It's a, it's a good time. And for $3.99, it's a pretty good buy. 
Uh, you've got Blood Gulch here, everybody's favorite from the first Halo, and if it's not your favorite, you can die. Um, they threw the uh, the Banshees in there, so this is technically coagulation, although the setup is still uh, the original Blood Gulch here. No, uh, no underground to the bases or anything like that. Um, all the hills, obviously no sniper rifles, otherwise I'd be having more fun in here with other people, but uh, both bases recreated. It looks really good. I mean, I can't say that enough. This is a really awesome little... Uh, add-on pack you can buy if you're interested in this kind of thing. Uh, stairs instead of a ramp, obviously. No ramps in Minecraft. And hey, there's the red flag. Alright, and now we have Guardian. This uh, this is probably one of my favorite little recreations here. This one, uh, the detail in this one is just awesome. I mean, take a look at that. The big tree there, the gravity room over on the right, the big platform in the middle. They knocked it out of the park with this one it looks fantastic I mean just look look at all this seeing this brings back so many memories playing with uh, Exos and uh, uh, stack them up and everybody who ever jumped on here with us uh, geez it just looks good they didn't throw they didn't throw any ODST uh, maps or uh, anything in here probably not too big of a deal seeing as how that was a good game but it didn't have any of the multiplayer staying power like the rest of the game did although firefight did stick around and kind of still exists to this day i mean spartan ops kind of like that here's uh here's sand trap here they uh created this right on the edge of a jungle so i mean if you look to the left there there's just a bunch of there's just a giant forest sitting over there i don't know what they were thinking I mean it still looks pretty cool though and I mean they recreated it very well I wish there were some vehicles to actually drive around on here who knows maybe we'll get that horse update eventually and be able to ride horses around on here there's all them crash debris and everything like that god they did a really good job with all of this this one this one looks pretty good but uh, Guardian's still one of my favorites here I'm coming up on another good one now with a lot of detail in it, and that one is uh, Lockout here from uh, Halo 2. Although they threw this on the ice, so this is technically Blackout from Halo 3, but it wasn't filmed at night, so shut up. It doesn't matter. A lot of detail in this one. This one looks really good as well. They put detail into areas you can't even get in the regular game, so they were definitely, they definitely expected somebody to explore the hell out of this whole area. Um... Helipad in the middle there just coming out of the grab room. I mean this just looks fantastic. I mean they did such a good job here um, What do we got what do we got there's a little sniper tower up there fuck that Ugh. I'm no good at that level. It's uh, kind of horrible to me. Uh, here we go here We got the last multiplayer map Valhalla um, arguably everybody else's favorite um, in Halo 4 as uh, Ragnarok, it's pretty awesome um, obviously they didn't throw in the little arch there or anything like that. I wonder why they did that, but oh well. Uh, not everything can be perfect. But the detail in this level is pretty damn amazing. Um, if you look over there, you've got the crashed, uh, crashed pelican. Pelican, that's what it's called. Why couldn't I remember that earlier? That's ridiculous. Um, inside of the base here. And we're actually about to see an awesome little Easter egg here soon. Um, they threw a little more love into Valhalla than all the other multiplayer maps because uh, they've uh, thrown an assault map in there. So I have the bomb right now, and bam, I just planted it. Look at that. Here we go. Let's get away. It's going to explode. Boom. All right. Well, shit. That's uh, pretty awesome that they threw that in there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like and subscribe. There's one more Easter egg right here. The Didact from Halo 4 is hiding in the nether. Um, like and subscribe. Check out the, the, the YouTube page and the Facebook page. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys uh, come back for the next episode.